Hey, what's up, elites and geeks? We're back at it once again here at RPG Elite. Your boy is giving you an update on Kronos Builder, the 3D map making beast for your tabletop RPG sessions when you want to create your own unique settings. We only got a couple of updates on this one though, so it's nothing groundbreaking, just some quality of life things that they've added. And we're gonna take a look at those things in today's video. So let's get right into it right now. On the other side, like always, I got the question of the vid for you. So let's jump in and roll them. So the first feature that we're going to look at is the new custom biomes. Now, when you first open up your map, it's gonna be just plain. And you're gonna to have to go down to the terrain right down here. And it's going to be just plain and you're going to click on that. So it opens up to the default grasslands here. Now, remember, it has its own preset biome. So you have grasslands, desert, urban, asteroid and tundra. And it, when you look over here, you can see you have four preset textures for each one of these. But what if you wanted some textures that can't be combined with the ones that you have over here in your presets. Let's say, for example, oh, I wanted some snow, and then I wanted a little bit of this right here. I wanted some concrete as well with a different kind of grasslands. Well, I can't do that because there are none of these presets that have that. Well, now we have the ability to make our own. You come down here at the very bottom, it has a little plus sign for new terrain and it says error new biome. Why? I don't know. I don't know why it says that. But anyway, you click on that and now you're going to have a head and you're going to have a little X right there if you want to delete it later. But you'll see over here what's happened is that all of the textures that you have available to you are here. And then all of these textures over here are the same. So that is signaling to you that you can go ahead and change those textures. Now, the first texture is this background texture. So if you change that texture to something else, then the whole background texture will change. So, for example, let's say I wanted to change that whole background texture. And I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to use that one. All right. So I want to change it to that. There we go. Now for the second one. I'm going to go with that concrete that I told you about, and then I'm going to do some snow over here. And then for the last one, let's go with a different kind of grasslands, shall we? All right. So now I have my own custom biome and I can, by clicking and highlighting the particular texture or terrain there, I can begin, ah, ah, ha, ha, there we go. Uh, let's do a little bit of grasslands here. Yeah, yeah. And let's say we wanted that snow area. So we put that right over here, right? So that's how you can do that. Now, if you wanted to change that background, let's say, man, I don't want that texture to be the background. Let's say I'm going to have all this in maybe an urban area. So I can go ahead and I can click this button here. After I click a terrain, I can click this button and it's going to automatically clear everything and change the background to whatever you clicked on. So now I can go ahead and use these as the ones that I paint on like that. Ah, ah. There we go. Ah, a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And when you want to move these textures over here, these terrain textures, when you want to move these off and you want some more real estate so you can work, all you need to do is click on this button here and that moves it over. Now there's two things that I would suggest and these are devs. This is for the devs, y'all. So number one, the unfortunate thing is that you cannot name your biome. It just says error custom biome and you have to remember what textures that you had there. That would be something that would be rather nice if we would be able to do that. If we've got more than one, which you can have, as a matter of fact, you can have up to 50. I'm not quite sure why, <laughs> but you can have up to 50 custom biomes 
on a map. That's kind of crazy, but it is available to you. The cool thing is that you can save the map and when you open it back up, it will have that custom biome there for you to use. Now, the second thing that I have for the devs is, and this is just kind of a wish list thing, just a wish list thing, is that we could go ahead and upload our own textures for the different terrains so we can really get creative with our custom biomes. I'm just saying, just uh, something off the top of the mind, that would be awesome for us to be able to do this, us amateur map makers for our tabletop RPGs. Okay, let's go ahead to the next feature that they've just released. So the second feature that we're going to look at here is going to be under terrain again, but we're going to go down here because we've got a new liquid in the family. You click on that and before we had your normal water, your magma and your acid, but now we have the deep water. So if we just click and carve out some area here, you can see the waters and how they look like now. Totally clear, totally clean, totally fresh. Don't you wish all the water on earth looked like that? Ah, but alas, it does not. But what if you are in the ocean? What if you're way out? Well then, now they have a new one, and I'm going to add this, and then I'm going to add this. And we're going to click on this, and it changes to like this really cool blue going on here. Very dark blue there. Nice. And what you can do, and what I'm going to try to do here, is I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can just like carve out kind of like a little bit of an island there. There we go. Surrounded. And if you wanted to change that, maybe it's more than maybe you're surrounded by lava or maybe you're surrounded by acid. You can do that. That is kind of a drawback of that as well, because if you wanted something separate over here, let's say I wanted deep waters over here. I'm not going to be able to have a separate deep waters over here with acid around here it changes the whole thing so that's something maybe you might want to work on devs the ability for us to have different kind of liquid areas on our map eh, uh, i'm just saying nah, me. now one honorable mention to these features is the fact that they have been having some linux compatibility issues but apparently they've tested it and now you can, if you have Linux, you can go ahead through the Steam Proton compatibility. If you go through Steam, you can start it up for Linux and you should be good to go. At least that's what they say. So that's just kind of an added extra on top of it. Hey, if you got any value out of this video, then can you do a brother a solid? Can you crush the like button? Also, if you want to stick around, hey, feel free, man. Every Tuesday and Friday, God willing, I come out with videos on all types of things. Of course, we don't do fantasy here, but there's like plenty of things that we talk about and probably some things that you uh, probably even think about. Yeah, we talk about it right here on this channel. Now, let's get to the question of the vid. On a scale of one to 10, how important our maps in your campaign that zero being never use them don't need them or 10 being always got to have a map always have to be there hey how important are they in your campaign even if you're a player you could just kind of get a feel for this stuff so let me know down in the comments below let's get some engagement going and also as an added little bonus on to that question why why are they that level of importance that will be it for me folks yeah i told you oh things are changing here on the channel i told you a little something something i am going to catch y'all on the flip for the next video this friday god willing so until that time peace 5000 leaks i'm out